Hey Clashers and welcome back to another video and today well there's another challenge coming out so we want to check it out we want to see how this challenge is easily beaten so you can copy that as well and make sure that you're getting those juicy rewards but before we jump into the attacks one quick reminder there's still some offers in the shop if you think about buying them make sure to use the credit code it's if you would like to support me make sure to use the credit code at all like Use your favorite content creator out there. But now, let's get into it. We're starting with the July Qualifier Challenge. So let's see how you can beat that super easily. Okay, we have to admit that the OP thing for us as, as players of the challenge now, we have a huge advantage over the pro players. And if you're thinking now, wow, I smashed this base with 1 million swag spells. Well, the thing is, and that's something which I feel like never really is appreciated too much, is we can try... A, the thousand times we have no pressure on us, I can just like blizzard from the other side of the base because, well, if it fails, I'm just going to start yet again. So this is something we have to keep in mind and we're going to abuse that fact just a little bit. So I remember that I think Cloud, um, Stars was the one from the July um, qualifier who used this attack. I think he cloned on the back and some loons. We're going to do the same thing, but I think our entry is going to be different. I think he, he blizzard into that compartment. I think we have a maybe better option because I think this one looks better. So let's go over here with one loon. If there are some black mines, we're going to switch things up. But uh, yeah, it looks all right. It looks all right. First invisibility spell and then obviously the rage. Try to make sure that this rage is covering as much as possible in this compartment. And whenever you're dropping those invisibility spells, count to four. This is something which is really helping and make sure that you're getting those timings in really, really easily. So the Royal Champion, the Defending Royal Champion would have been nice to get, but it is not the end of the world. So the next thing what you're about to do is just lure those, um, yeah, those pups to the outside. We're going to poison it and then sending in that queen. Sneaky Goblin to funnel like we want to have the queen going towards the top side. That's super important. The next thing is don't use your king right away. If the king is clearing out the top buildings, she is going to most likely backtrack and going for the complete wrong side. We want her to go towards the top side. And this is why we're using the Sinky Goblin at the bottom side, because it's funneling nicely. So the queen should then run, then again, wrap around back towards the top side. This is everything looking perfect. We can now start with our king. Top side funnel, everything looks good. One archer. There's some ice golem action and there the wall break. So we can get into it. Our king actually got targeted by the second front tower. That's not the end of the world. Just use that freeze. Just use that freeze. No problem whatsoever. We could have used the invisibility spell as well. But to be honest, it does not matter too much. As soon, as soon as this bomb tower is going down, you can use the king ability if you want to. Don't use it earlier. Don't use the king ability too early because then all of the barbarians are going to be gone in that bomb tower. That's not a good idea at all. So... Now we see already we have a good, good power, a good part of the base already taken down. Now the Lava Hound, I think, Faust uses it in a different way, but hey, should be alright for us. One, two, more Dragon Riders are coming in, Queen ability, and now we have the Defending Queen over there as well. So let's take her out with some Headhunters and the nice Warden ability to cover everything. There's the Warden ability, Defending Queen should be easily going down and always remember to place your cleanup. You can pretty much place all of the cleanup right away, that's no problem. We have one Baby Dragon for the back end, so that's totally alright. Then remember, we want to use those loons, don't use those loons in the beginning. We want to use those loons for the back end, so let's spread them out just a little bit. To make sure the Wizard Tower is not getting too much value. And there is now the clone to take down the bottom side. Let's use the Baby Dragon over here, Wizard over there. And then we just have to keep freezing because, well, it's looking pretty good for us anyways. So, just the... Oh, like this maybe, the Headhunter over there. Freeze it yet again. And then we still have the Invisibility Spells which we could use if the Defending Royal Champion is getting too annoying or whatever. So, there's no problem whatsoever. There's the Invisibility Spell just to keep our troops alive. And as I said, the Royal Champion, we're just going to ignore that one. Just place all of your spells and you're going to be fine no matter what. So you can see... Sometimes it's a bit close on time, but either way, it is always going to, uh, going to be a three-star with this approach. So, really easy, really straightforward. As I said, when using the Blizzard, make sure you're placing the Rage properly. And the second thing is, make sure to use your... <laughs> Make sure to, you count to four to actually drop your invisibility spells to not waste all of them. It's like always one, two, three, four, next spell. That's always the, the thing what you have to do. And then this challenge is pretty easy. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you know now how to beat this challenge. 
Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys back tomorrow for the next video. Until then, see ya and bye bye.